Freddy Simmons Simmons says go back to that roof and check the chimney. All right. I mean, uh, I won't say no to that. I'm always down for secret loot. Check the chimney, huh? There's the chimney, and it doesn't make logical sense. The chimney leads to a room where there's no fireplace. The other chimney. Other chim- Oh, this one? What am I looking for, chat? Not this one! How many chim- that, that, I, that can't- uh, What, that one? No, not that one. Not that one. What chimney? Go to the- Check the chimney, they say. What chimney? Okay, look, I checked the chimney. Never mind, he says. Oh, thank you, Freddy Simmons. Thank you for that so much. Never mind. We'll just leave that as a never mind. My bad. Nothing there. Ignore me. Okay. Moving on. Check the chimney. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. Man, I just couldn't do a broadcast without that. I just... I was an amateur. Up until now, I was just skating by. I didn't have a strategy. They were like, I know how to make this guy a professional. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, well, there was, like, an invisible wall that was preventing me from moving. What? What? All right, I'm going inside. I'm just going inside. Where'd the door go? Where's the door? I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't go inside. The door's gone. Ah, what's happened? The, enter the Neapolitan. The <laughs> oh, Bethesda, why are you doing this to me? Bethesda, come on, man. I just want to play your game. <laughs> and they're all firing at me. Weird Beard says, I give you an indefinite pass to use accessibility options to negate your mediocre old man gaming abilities. No more excuses. With Weird Beard, what did I ever do to you? Man, What? I've been here for you. Four days a week for years now, and what do you do? You come in saying I've got mediocre old man gaming abilities? I don't deserve this, weird beard. After all this time, all right, that's it. You're on the list. You're on the, the I'm ignoring all your comments list from now on, weird beard. Mediocre old man game. I'm kidding, weird beard. I love you. Thank you so much for that. <clears throat> you paid 10 bucks to insult me. I'll, I'll take it. I'll <laughs> I'll take the insult for the 10 bucks. But she's not just a ship. She's my best friend. This poor lady doesn't know anybody. This ship is the only friend she has in the world. She just landed to make some emergency repairs. And you, you bloodthirsty chat, you want me to murder her. Just so I can steal it. Would you like to buy my lemonade? Uh, please? Well, how about this one, guys? You want me to blow this one out of the sky? You want me to disable it and board it and murder everyone on board so I can fly off with this new spaceship? Is that what you would do? Got a bunch of murderers. Yes! Yes, says the chat. They want, they want to be able to blow it up. It's a kid. It's a kid. It's a, try to sell lemonade in space. You want me to murder? Oh, so disappointed in you. Cleansed in Fire says, look up a mukbang on YouTube right now. What are you having me Google? I don't like the sound of this new word you have exposed me to. And I'm very disturbed that I now have been exposed to this word. I mean, curiosity is getting the better of me, but I just don't like the way it sounds. Ramen mukbang compilation. Ooh. Oh man, the, the Google images for this. Uh, there's a broadcasting genre of people gorging on food. Uh, Cairo Contoy says, mukbang with you is just smoking and drinking. Yeah, so this is the kind of mukbang that I can get into, but it's a leisurely activity and my mouth is not completely preoccupied with something else. Oh God, wish I hadn't said that. Ox, you hold the light on the flower. I mean, that's what I'm doing. Depending on you to figure it out, you gotta 
Okay, uh, uh, yeah, this is easy. We can figure this out. Yeah, I got it the first time. Look at that. Sebastian Sanchez says, Oxhorn, have you ever gotten any tattoos or piercings? I mean, if I had, they would probably be in sensitive areas. And if they were, then I wouldn't be able to talk about them on camera. And officially, I would probably say something like, no, I don't have any tattoos or piercings. But no, I don't have any tattoos or piercings. Julian Z says, Ox, why did you mention the fact that you might not mention it if it was a sensitive area instead of just saying, I don't have any? The conspiracy side of me is screaming secret Ox tattoo slash piercing. Unless it's not about conspiracies. I just wanted to mention and make absolutely clear that I don't have any tattoos or piercings. Definitely not an Ultima Online one between my shoulder blades or a bunch of nipple tassels below my butt cheeks. That is not there and never would be. So you don't need to bring it up anymore. And I don't think I need to prove myself either. Ox, you must go to the barn just out the north door. All right, so that's the north door. Ooh, who's that? Okay, if this gets me in trouble, Cat5, I'm holding you responsible. Oh, oh! What? What the hell are you doing? Oh my god! Why, Cat? Why? <laughs> he covers himself so quickly. Oh, this <laughs> Ew, that was just way too vivid. Just way too vivid. I didn't need to see that. Why'd you gotta, you got, you must go to the barn, she says. I must, mustn't I? Because I could have played the entire game without seeing that, and it would have ruined the experience. No, I had to see that to get the full Baldur's Gate 3 experience, huh? Okay, thank you for, for that. Oh. Jake Ben says, so, Oxhorn Waifu pillow? What even is that? Like, what are you talking about, man? What's, can we just, normal life things? Just, can we talk about, why does it, let's talk about sports. How about that? I've been a geek my entire life and not once have I ever been interested in sports. But after an hour of talking with you guys, I want to cheer on a football team. That's what I want to do. I want to go into the stands with a hot dog and say, yay balls. Crap.